All right, so um, this is Rain Alba Birdman. We've been working for like, what, three, four days straight? I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what day it is, honestly. Um, Bird here figured out a method of hijacking the boot process that would let us take control so early and at such a low level um, that there was very little going on and we could launch a recovery binary. Um, but the, the key here is it's so early and so low level that there's nothing mounted, we have nothing getting in the way, which gives us, in essence, a real recovery environment. Not just a recovery binary with the user interface, um, but the ability to actually go in and, and unmount system and write files in there anywhere we want. This is not an unlocked bootloader. We can't change the kernel at this point. Um, we have high hopes of being able to boot an alternate kernel, but that's still to come. Um, I don't know, Bird, in theory, in the next couple days, there's every reason to believe we should have Froyo running, right? Okay, he said yes. I didn't think about this. He, you don't have audio on him right now. Um, <laughs> we didn't think quick enough. So you have to lip read. He said okay. Uh, so anyway, the big event, which you all been waiting for, my Droid X is off right now. Um, the, the process here only involves three files. One um, is the one we hijacked. One is the actual, it's a, a script that I created that stores uh, tar in it, uh, self-extracting installer in, in all essence, but it installs to a uh, tempfs. So it's only there while we need it to be there and it's gone when we're done. And then there's a third file that triggers the bootloader or the uh, recovery to boot up. If the file's there as the phone boots, busy box. Yeah. Um, oh, busy box has to be implemented in system bin, and the phone's got to be rooted. Um, you know, you got to have SU. Sorry. Uh, thanks for clearing that up. Um, but anyway, as the phone boots, if this file uh, system cust rec exists, it'll boot into recovery. If it doesn't, it will not. Um, as soon as it starts booting, it will delete the file so that if something goes wrong, uh, it'll reboot into Android and you don't get stuck in a recovery boot loop. So anyway, here's my phone. This is the first time I've done this, honestly. Um, he's been doing all the testing. I've been writing scripts and passing them over to him. Um, I mean, he's writing scripts too. I'm not doing everything by any stretch. But uh, I haven't had a chance to actually boot my phone, and so we're going to do it right now. Um, the next thing I hope to do via scripting is do some... Um, <laughs> some key capturing so that you'll be prompted ideally but at the least there'll be some like secret keys so that you can choose each time to boot into recovery or not and there you have it folks god that was fast took no time at all I'm gonna see about zooming in on this and focusing one second bird um there we go I don't have a macro lens on this camera but let's see, what do we have here? Can't find miss, can't find cache. Can't, okay, so there's a couple partitions that aren't um, available at the moment, I guess. I'm actually in... Oh, they don't exist on the Droid X, he says. Um, I'm actually in the process right now in the background of building the clockwork recovery. Um, well, setting up ASOP or AOSP. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. So that I can do our own custom version um, that'll do what we need, but there you can see it. I mean, it's all there. Um, and as if this was not impressive enough, I'm about to show you the next little beauty that you love. So I gotta put my phone down here because my USB cable's too short to leave it up there. I'm gonna plug in, and let's see if I can't pull up a new terminal real quick. Bear with me, guys. Maybe I can um, edit this out. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's 3.34 a.m. here, and Birdman says he's seeing sunlight on his side of the world. But it's been this way for us for about four days. Three or four days, like I said. I I'm really not sure anymore. We've, like, been on... <laughs> yeah, the sun has been rising for four days. We never actually see it finish. We eventually collapse and uh, on the verge of death disappear. Okay, bird, 
Uh, I'm going to cover you up for a minute so I don't screw up my camera angle here. <laughs> and zoom in. Let's see what we can do. Can I zoom in some more? It's 1080p, so you ought to be able to see it just well enough, I hope. Okay, so... I should be able to go ADB shell. Error device not found, bird. What do I need to do? Okay, so we're back. And I've figured out what's going on. It turns out um, USB needs to be connected when you boot into recovery if you want to do ADB shell. Um, so I've just gone back into Android. I did my touch uh, system custrec to tell it that when I rebooted again I wanted to go into recovery and then I did ADB reboot I've rebooted and now I ought to be able to do ADB shell and look at that immediately we're in SU and you can see how minimal uh, mount is right now we've got dev proxys um, we got a tempfs for SQLite bunch of temp FS's and then you can see system and pre-install are mounted systems read write um, pre-install has to be mounted for our process because we use it to help boot um, and at this point I'm gonna hand you off to Bird because he wants to show you a couple things give me a second Bird I'm gonna get you back focused here uh, if you want to right. you're gonna switch back over to your terminal right yep so if you want to do that I'll get you focused all right. All right. You should be good. All right. So um, as you can see, we uh, we have, as Ray and Otto mentioned, um, system is mounted. But if we just CD into system, we can start removing things. So let's say we want to remove apps. So let's do RM. RF, oh, gone. RM, RF, um, oh, gone. RM, RF, same one. Just in case, and, just in case you guys can't understand him clearly, he's just going through and he's demonstrating how he can blow away anything he wants in system. There are no restrictions. Yeah, everything, right everything from system is now gone. So you see, plus. Um, now let's go back in the system. Nothing. It's all gone. And we're still in. Hold on. Can you can you switch back to my video? I sure can. Okay. We're still in recovery. So that's not a big issue. Of course, in order to keep your phone in a working state, you're going to have to install system at some point. Um, hey, Bird, do so you... It's not Huh? Do you have a system that you can install right now? Uh, I do not. It's not set up yet, but uh, uh, we're preparing. It's uh, not the I answer we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of you followed us when uh, when we got the the dev phone that has 2.2 on it, and we're working on getting that system image packed up so that I can install it, and that's actually the next step um, that I'm going to take um, sometime after I've got some sleep. So. All right. You have anything else to say? Um, show your love for all droid guys. Kush is out there working hard too, and we want to thank him for the UI that we're going to be utilizing in this recovery. Um, but for those of you that didn't follow, it was done at all droid first, just as Birdman did root, and just as we're going to be bringing you Froyo. We're on a roll. Who knows how long it'll last? But um, the more of you devs that come over and take advantage of the resources I have to provide you it only gets better um, you got anything bird? nope I'm good okay guys have fun catch you later